The governorship candidate of the African Democratic Congress, ADC, Mabel Obo, has promised Edo residents that the party will focus on ending hunger in the state and support agriculture. Mrs. Obo, while speaking to newsmen in Benin City, the Edo state capital, says the ADC will use agriculture as a catalyst to boost industrialization. She adds that she would work towards creating jobs for the teaming leaders in the state. People are going to crime because they are hungry. Once we take care of all those, you know, uh, pockets of hunger, where people have dignity, they can work and they can earn their hard-earned um, hard money legally. Hunger is leading to a lot of, you know, lack of morality, you know, thievery, and, you know, us not even having identity with ourselves. So I've thought about it. We are already a blessed state, you know. Agriculture, what we used to do, but agriculture in a, with a difference. This time around, I'm going to go into, you know, massive industrialization, using agriculture as a base. And from Edo State, uh, the Nigerian Railway Corporation is set to resume the Abuja Kaduna Rail Services on Wednesday, July the 29th. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, made this annou announcement during an inspection ride from the Idu train terminal in Abuja to the Rigasa train station in Kaduna as he inspected 10 new coaches added to the rail corridor to boost passenger services. He also inspected the rail corridor, which has not been in operation since the lockdown over the coronavirus commenced in April to ensure the rail line is in perfect condition. We expect that they will resume on Wednesday. And I'm happy that we receive, we receive more coaches than we have had before. And the MD told me we'll have 14 trips. Unlike in the past, we used to have only eight. So there's an improvement. We are 85% prepared because we know a day like that will come. If you pass through our station at Idu today, you will see a demo of what we intend to do in all the stations. You can see the, the social distancing marked as strategic locations. Now we have a definite date for resumption. We complete them in all the passenger stations. The first thing we are going to do, maybe on Monday, is to decontaminate all our rolling stock because we have packed them for a while, almost four months now, and again, decontaminate our stations and our offices. That is the first and foremost, things we are, foremost thing we are going to do. Then we now, you can see on board, we have selected the seats that are going to be used for the, for the business class. We're reducing the number by half. Two, uh, each row has four, and we're carrying two. For the economy, each row has five. There will be one empty seat in between two passengers. We are very grateful to the federal government of Nigeria and particularly the Minister of Transportation, my brother and friend, uh, His Excellency Rotimi Amechi, for the decision. We support it strongly. We requested the federal government to suspend the train services at the time of the onset of the coronavirus pandemic. But we believe now that it is time to resume the train services and we had written a request weeks ago when we relaxed the lockdown. Uh, we've been briefed on all the measures that the federal government has put in place to ensure physical distancing, hygiene and sanitary observance to protect everyone and uh, we are looking forward to this. We are also grateful that the number of um, um, frequencies for the train have been increased um, because more and more people will use the train uh, to go to Abuja and from Abuja to Kaduna.